my calculations are correct, when this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. Some ramps, 
and raising these pivot towers up to go across these lava flows. This is a tough one here. So what the problem is, is uh, the spans on the pivots will drag up on these hills and uh, we got to get them raised up enough that the structure will clear the hills. And I'll go back over here and show you how bad it's kinked and what we got to do with the rest of it. So there's the one tower right up on the top of the hill and you can see how uh, severe the angle is there so we got to build up the other tower down to the right there down below see if we can raise that up <clears throat> but that's some tough stuff up there he tried to get up there on on there with the cat it's just too much rock he'd destroy the tractor trying to move all that stuff and the excavator you get it up there you bend the track pads so I don't know, that's going to be a tough one. Here comes Jake up this ramp. He had to raise this one up. He's cleaning up the slopes and stuff, pack them down a little bit because they're going to have some erosion. They'll have to armor the sides with like hand-picked rock and whatever. Uh, water tends to wash the sides off if you don't. Okay, right here, this is where we're going to raise this tower up to take that kink out up there. And uh, there's a lot of soil on the back side of this rock knob, and that's because uh, the soil here is windblown soil that covers all these lava flows. So, seeing how this is like on the downwind side, then this is where it all accumulates.
Okay, there, there's the pivot on its way, and that's raised it up enough to take that kink out up there. And then they're watching the other ones to make sure everything's good to go. But now he's going to have to go uh, when this pivot passes over him. He'll go on the other side and ramp it up until it starts climbing that mess over there. Some coal, she'll give you all she's got. She's a locomotive, she's steaming hot. She's big and strong with hard black steel. She'd love me too if only she could feel. She's a locomotive, she's steaming hot. And she goes. She'll give you all she's got She's a locomotive, she's steaming hot She shakes and shudders moving down the track Spitting white smoke out through her stack She's a locomotive, she's steaming hot She's a locomotive, she's steaming hot She's a locomotive, she's steaming airport to pick up one of my Australian subscribers anyway uh, he's coming to the States he's coming down to the anniversary of the driving of the Golden Spike out there at Promontory Point in Utah So he's going to see the USA in a Chevrolet <laughs> and uh, then he's headed back east and I think uh, he's going to end up in Italy. 
quite a vacay. So anyway, uh, maybe I'll get him, get him on some video, introduce him to you. He's a pretty cool, dude. We're here with Ozzy Man. What do you think of uh, farming in Idaho and these crazy machines? Well, I'm just out here in the uh, great open. <laughs> nice. He's come all the way from Australia to try to teach me, and I, I, I got this British thing going on. I just can't do the Aussie thing. Good day. Good day. Good day. That's good out here. I like it. I could live here. Oh, he's gonna stay. Can't get rid of him. <laughs> uh, I'm calling the INS. Ice. They won't throw them up. They'll throw an Aussie out on his head right now. I've got a bogan. Come get him. What's your location? <laughs>
So it's uh, Saturday. And I went, got up early and went and got the 336. And got the 9 and brought it home. Um, we have started our government job. And I uh, have to get up about 5 a.m. to get out there. I'll probably get there about 6.45. We leave here right around a little before 6. And we have to have a, they call it a SPA, S-P-A. I can't even remember what it stands for. Plan of the day, whatever, special plan, blah, blah, blah. Then we do stretch and flex, and then we go to work. We have to wear long sleeve shirts. We have to wear a reflective vest or a reflective shirt and a hard hat. Let's see, after the stretch and flex and all that, we get going. We get about nine hours a day in. But I'm here to tell you what, I am bushed after taking a pounding in that scraper for that long all day. Anyway, it's been a long, stressful several months getting those scrapers ready and getting them out there and going. Since this is a, a nuclear Navy installation, I can't film there. Uh, now, the other day, there was a guy standing on this big old building with uh, some kind of video apparatus. Now, they can take all the pictures they want. So I'm hoping that some point during this job I can I can con them out of either a little video or some pictures of this that we're doing that they'll declassify, I hope. No guarantees. So anyway, there's that. But on the other hand, uh, I'm going to go run the grader right now. On weekends, I'm probably going to be doing some work. So... Going to be able to show you that. Going to get the car back over here in the shop and get going on it and get it finished. You'll be able to see that. Going to do some serious shop bitching, get it cleaned up so I can bring the car back in. Uh, I got my organizers for my toolbox. I'm going to get my toolboxes all organized and stuff and show you that. Still be doing the whiteboard. Really super appreciate those of you who've sent money for Shane. That's just been totally awesome. Uh, can't tell you how much that means to him. Well, it's that time of year again. Old Jeffrey uh, got out the 14G cat ditch cleaner. <laughs> 14G makes the best ditches in the whole world. Nice and big and sloped. I only have to do this once every three or four years and the only reason I did it this time was to close off the mouse holes and the gopher holes but anyway makes an awful nice ditch those are uh, motor grader tire killers right there so this is where we cleaned the canal last what was it last fall and I'm trying to come in and grade this but it just isn't broke down yet, and then I know that wheel line's been watering it. So it's trying to grow. Anyway, what a way to spend your Saturday afternoon. I'm not working tomorrow. Forget it. So oh, the old uh, pay dirt box is full today. I'm going to have to take the overflow down to Jake's house. But anyway, got a lot of packages going out. I uh, want to thank Jeff Tui in Bozeman, Montana, Chris Baumgarten from Pahrump, Nevada, Classic Contracting uh, from Lake Barrington, Illinois, John Steckety from Arkville, New York, Matthew Berry uh, from Sycamore, Illinois, D.L. Davenport from Columbus, Georgia, and uh, Boyd Nebaker down in Layton, Utah. I met Boyd down at the truck show. Matthew Roll from Mitchell, Indiana. David Weimark from Chelmsford in the UK. M&M Lawn Service from Toulon, Illinois. And Jesse Medeiros from Plainfield, uh, New Hampshire. 
Thank you guys for supporting old pay dirt, buying this stuff. That's awesome. Ooh, she's a nice morning this morning. Other than that damn rain that Vic Chapet and Lauren Morelli sent me from Petaluma. Uh, so I'm sending out some packages and got a couple going out to Butch Geisler from Dexter, Minnesota. Thank you, Butch. Butch, you wanted an old Kenny hat. I am completely out of hats. I'll have some new ones here the first week of June. So I had to go get the display model out of the shop. So you're getting the one as seen on J. Paydirt. And one out to Michael Chapman from Mount Me in Australia. Thank you for supporting me, guys. Hey, good evening, everybody. It's Tuesday evening, and I want to talk about some of my awesome subscribers on the whiteboard. Don't know if you can hear it, but the rain is pouring on the shop ceiling. It's quite loud in here. Uh, we're getting pummeled with rain. Uh, I know a lot of you back east are getting hit with rain and those in Montana and farther north are getting hit with snow But I want to start out with uh, Bruce and Bruce. I'm not even going to try to pronounce your last name. I would butcher that um, Is it feeder it? I don't know anyway, Bruce. Thank you so much for subscribing to me. He's from Burlington, Connecticut Randall Mercer not sure where you were from Randall. You didn't say but thank you for subscribing. Uh, Brian Schroeder, he's from Marengo, Illinois. Thank you, Brian. Lucas Layton, he's from Maine. He's a Maina. Uh, Mike Leach from Aaron, Ontario. Thank you, Mike. Neil Smith from Brisbane, Australia. And Brian Lister from Scotland. Thank you for subscribing. Clear over there, Brian. Uh, also, too, I want to give a special shout out, and you saw him in the video, Adrian Nettlefold. Uh, he came over from Brisbane and he stayed with me for a couple days and I showed him a little bit of Idaho, took him out to work. Anyway, he was here for the 150th annual uh, driving of the Golden Spike at Promontory Point. He had a good time, so thanks for stopping by, Adrian. I enjoyed it. If you'd like an Old Kenny coloring book, uh, go to Amazon. You can search for Old Kenny coloring book or I will put a link below to it. This money does not go to old Jay Paydirt. This goes to a deserving artist. Uh, lots of cool truck pictures in here. We got old Kenny in. They're only $7.50 if you'd like one. Uh, also, too, uh, I still got Anderson hats. I did run out of the Flex Fit and old Kenny hats. They are on order. They should be here the first week of June. If you'd like one of those hats, go ahead and order it. As soon as they come in, I'll get them out to you. Also, too, uh, Tony Spresser from Why Not Construction has sent me a whole nother batch of the Filthy Hork cutouts. You can get those on my website, along with an Anderson Construction calendar or the swimsuit calendar. Just go to www.jpaydirt.com, and I'll leave a link below. And also, too, if you'd like to have a look-see at the Tool Crown toolboxes I have, all that information is below at Tool Crown America. Uh, also, too, I want to thank some really awesome people for donating to Shane and helping him out. Uh, you guys sent a lot of money. I really, really appreciate that. It was, it was just super to open that up. He was in tears when he saw the amount of money you guys sent. That's really cool. Uh, thank you for being so generous with him. So I'll get another video out to you as soon as I can. But right now I got to go in the house and go to bed. Down she comes. Another cloudburst. I don't know what the weather's like uh, where you're at. But uh, Frank Cunningham, digging okay, posted a video this morning I saw. Things are pretty soggy and wet in Oklahoma. I uh, talked to Jim Blaylock last night. And they were under tornado watches. So anyway, hope everything turned out okay there. And uh, hope everybody's doing well. It's going to be another soggy wet day for old Jay Pater at work.